I don't think I've ever had a high quality long jing before until this moment. This tastes nothing like the long jings I have had. Wow. Wow. Hey tea friends and family, this is Tasting Teas, Megan Bristow here and in this video we are drinking a wild long jing or also known as dragon well from Teora. Make yourself a cup of tea and come and join me. Welcome to Tasting Teas, welcome to my living room. As I mentioned in the introduction, we are drinking a green tea, one of the most well-known Chinese green teas in the West and one of the most common or popular green teas in China, Long Jing, also known as Dragon Well in English. Our Dragon Well comes from Teora. They are an independent independent vendor based out of London and Zurich. They source high quality loose leaf tea and where they can organic uh, premium tea. So I'm very much into supporting independent merchants and I'm very much into supporting organic tea when and where we can. Teora's Dragon Well is high mountain and wild. So this tea comes from a tea garden that was abandoned more than 30 years ago. It is only harvested from once per year and never cut. And it comes from a very high elevation over 1300 meters. The cultivar of this high mountain longjing is, and I apologize profusely for pronunciation, Chen Zijang? Chen Zijang? <laughs> And the, this mountain that they harvest this tea from is in Chunan in Zhejiang province in China. The picking and processing. So the tea, far, the, the tea pickers have to wake up at 3 a.m. to hike two and a half hours <laughs> down the mountain, maybe up the mountain, to pick these teas. It is, there's actually a lot of buds in here. I can see some downy buds, but it looks like to me like a bud and maybe one leaf or a bud and two leaf in some of the pickings. And it is gently pan-fired by hand. I'm very excited to try this tea because it is wild and because the tea trees here, um, which are, you know, they're no, they're no longer bushes, they're verging into trees, um, are on average around 100 years old. And so I'm always looking for tea that comes from really old trees. I It's just a personal preference. Um, every time I've had tea that has been, I've been told is from an old tree, I've deeply deeply enjoyed the flavors there. We are brewing Gong Fu with Pocha today. Pocha's always here. Pocha's always game for tea. And I also am joined by Horace. This, this little guy I just found in an old box of photographs. I've had him for nearly 20 years. I picked him up at the Egyptian Museum uh, in or just outside of San Jose in California. I am brewing in a 150 milliliter celadon teapot. I will not be filling the teapot all the way up, probably just about 100 milliliters. I will be brewing with a water temperature as close to 80 degrees Celsius as I can get because it is a green tea, don't want to use boiling water. I have a glass fairness cup for decanting and a matching celadon teacup. I am brewing three grams of the Long Jing. Dry leaf had a lot of aroma. Very promising, but let's smell those dry leaves in the warm teapot. That to me, I think, gives a sort of more accurate uh, description of what you're what you're in for. That act this really reminds me of certain Japanese senchas, the senchas that are on the sweeter end, something like chirancha from Kagoshima. Very grassy, but very sweet, but it's more floral than essentia. A hint of salty savoriness in there as well. Ooh. 
I said nectarines earlier. I think I'm wrong. I think it's more um, sweet cleanse. That was such an awkward pour. Very pale golden liquor. Maybe the slightest hint, slightest hint of green there. Two Teora's Wild Long Jing. Two supporting independent merchants and two supporting artisan tea when and where we can. Cheers. So 15 seconds on the first infusion. It's very light, very light in the mouth. The grassy notes are there, but like I said, it's quite sweet. And what it reminds me of, a, a lot of the time in certain green teas, I pick up um, like green asparagus notes. This tea tastes like white asparagus. It's more delicate. It's more sweet. And there's uh, just a hint of just a hint of a drying sensation on the tongue, tongue which is actually quite uh, refreshing. It kind of reminds me of brut or dry uh, white wine or uh, champagne, but not as strong as that sensation as you get with that. I'm not picking up on the nuttiness yet that I was getting in the dry and wet leaf aroma, but I think I just need to tease it out. I think I need to go for more infusions and see what else this has to offer, but a smashing, smashing first infusion. The floralness that was very delicate in the first infusion is present in the second infusion. And the aftertaste is where the sort of savoriness of the tea comes in. It's very, it's very bright, clean, fresh, sweet, white asparagus. Uh, in the beginning and sort of in the middle. I, it's in the finish where you get this, this hint of this sort of slightly salty savoriness. It's the astringency is, is more on the second infusion, but it's still pleasant. Uh, I still find it quite refreshing. I'm not gonna lie, I do love green teas, but I do find that I it's harder for me to tease out distinctive uh, flavors when I drink green teas. I have moved the camera around and like taken photos uh, so I can't actually remember if I'm on the third or fourth infusion. The flavor is still going strong. The astringency hasn't increased anymore uh, from the second infusion. It's maintained so I think I'm brewing it at a good temperature for a good time. For a good time, hey! <laughs> Uh, I didn't, I couldn't recognize what the floral note was. I knew that it was there. It's very subtle. Uh, so I did cheat and I had to look at the tasting notes on the website and they say that the, there's a delicate um, orchid note to it. And now that I actually have a word to ascribe to it, I, can, I was like, yes, <laughs> that's what it was. It's very hard for me still to, to be very distinct um, with flowers. I know jasmine very, very well. I know pomelo quite well now as well because I love that. Aroma, but I'm still I'm still getting used to all the flowers, flowers and tea. This is one of the nicer green teas that I have. I was very surprised by the sweetness of it and how the savoriness of it was really coming in at the end and really in in the aftertaste and that kind of sweet and savory chestnutiness. But mostly, I was surprised by its fresh. Um, sort of vitality. It reminded me of if you garden and you grow your own vegetables or if you've ever been uh, in a garden and someone's literally just like picked pick some fresh vegetables for you when you open and you eat peas straight from their pod. And I like a little bit of bitterness. I like a little bit a little bit of bitterness and a little bit of astringency in my green teas. I find that very refreshing and this had both. I think it is a very nuanced tea and I think that if you love green tea and if you especially love Long Jing, okay, this wild Long Jing from these older tea trees is an absolute treat. It really, really feels like you're eating fresh sweet vegetables in the garden.
Um, and I don't have a garden at the moment. So to be able to replicate that in a teacup is, you know, what more can I ask for besides a garden? <laughs> I am quite mellow at the moment. I am, uh, having said that, I do apologize for not having put out as many videos in the last couple of weeks. I've been quite low energy and feeling a little under the weather. However, every time I have sat down to have a tea session or film a review, drink any tea at all, it has really lifted my spirits and made me feel that much better. Today I was very low energy and I was really struggling, really, really struggling to get my boots on and um, sit down and film the review. But I'm really glad that I did. This tea is it's giving me, it's giving me some life. It's giving me some life today. Well, guys, that's it for today. If you want to talk shop about tea, just comment down below. I will link to Teora's website if you would like to purchase this tea or any of their teas for yourself. And I'd really like to thank Teora for, for the teas. Thank you so much. This has been my introduction and it's been a stunning introduction so far. And I look forward to, to drinking more teas. Wherever you guys are, enjoy a good cup of tea. See ya! Wherever he is. <laughs>